What's happening? Hello world and welcome to your 18th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to place an index in a file group using SQL Server Management Studio and how to do the same using a T-SQL script. So to begin, if you want to place an index in a file group other than the primary file group, you must first have a file group that includes a data file. The following code is going to add a second file group and one data file to the AdventureWorks 2012 database. So, we're going to go up here before we start this time. And I want you to copy this down and save it. And we're going to be running this script right here. All right. Now, I'm going to execute this guy. Command's completed successfully. Okay, now that we have the pieces in the in place in the exercise I'm going to be running you through now, you'll modify an existing index to move it to a new file group. Okay. So, now we're going to open up Management Studio and well you sure you're already there. Connect to an instance, expand your databases folder, uh, expand AdventureWorks 2012, expand the tables folder, we're going to sales.sales order header table as we have been in the last few tutorials. And we'll, all right, I'm gonna click on that. Um, and we're going to expand the indexes folder. We're going back to our ix underscore sales order header underscore order date right here. Right click on this. We're going to go to properties. Then we're going up here to the select the page pane and we're going to select storage. And now here we want to change this from primary to AW 2012 file group 2. Alright, and then from here we click OK. We click OK again, and we are done. Awesome. Now, I'll show you how to do the same thing running a T SQL script. We're going to go up here. We don't need this guy anymore. We can just get rid of it. Yeah. New query. Copy this code down for your records. Execute. Commands completed successfully. So now you know how to place an index in a file group using a T SQL script, as well as how to do it with SQL Server Management Studio. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. I believe it's the 19th one. We're almost at number 20. Thanks for being with me on this journey.